Nick, your first Friday as a fully fledged Formula One driver, just give me your assessment of the running today. Yeah, it was the first time I participated in an FP2. Um, I think uh, overall as a day I'm pretty satisfied with uh, the work we've done, the progress we made. Um, at least on, on our side of the garage we made, uh, yeah, I think good progress. The conditions from FP1 to FP2 are very different and um, I think we, yeah, we uh, worked well as a team together. There is certainly a lot of work ahead of us and uh, I think we are finding ourselves a little bit on, on the back foot. Um, but uh, I'm confident that uh, you know we'll stick together and continue to try and improve in the areas we believe we need to find uh, performance. Yuki was keen to stress that, that at the moment the performance certainly over one lap pace was not where you want it to be. What do you think needs to be changed? Those areas you just mentioned, what improvements are you hoping for or that can be made before FP3 and indeed quality tomorrow? I mean, in a weekend itself, it's hard to you know make such big changes. But I think as a group, we 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 are aware where our weaknesses are relatively to competition. Uh, perhaps this track might not suit our characteristics, you know, very well either. So I think it's early days. We just gotta you know stick together, do steps at a time, and then after a couple of weekends, we have a clearer picture. But you know, it's no you know secret that we might be a bit on the back on the back foot. I know obviously performance now is key and the fact that you're a rookie and you're living your dream, we have to almost park that because it's about the performance now, but are you still pinching yourself somewhat that you're now into the swing of it one day down and you've got quality to come tomorrow? I think you summarised it very well. Um, I'm obviously happy to be here, but uh, we're here now to perform together and, uh, and that's our main priority and focus. So um, yeah, good to be here, but uh, we want to be here, succeed in an excellent. Nico, quite the way to mark your return back to Formula One. That headline time was something. Where did that come from? <laughs> I knew you'd going to pick that up and say that. I wish I hadn't. I wish I had taken a few tens hours, to be honest, <laughs> and I kept them in the pocket. You know, it's like one lap pace is it is fine and it's fun. You know, it's nice. But if uh, if this is the thing on Sunday, you know, that's obviously where the gold is. That's where it matters. And I feel, you know, that's where we still have uh, a lot of work to do and, and some homework and, and need to find pace and and uh, deck as well that we need to work on. So uh, all in all, a decent, I think, good Friday. Um, again, you know, things to take away from here and, and hopefully build on and, and progress. Was the team expecting that kind of pace from the soft one lap run? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure ex exactly what we were expecting. I was just told that the, the delta was quite large from, from, the, from the medium to the soft. Um, and, and, and it felt that way, you know, it's, it's fun <laughs> when you get a fresh rubber and, you know, you just have a lot of grip. Um, that's, you know, when a Formula One car really comes alive and you can play with it and, uh, you know, it, it's just dynamic and, and fun to toss it around. But uh, like I said, uh, long runs, still some, some, some homework to do. And how hard will that be given that the, the one session you've got to kind of try to dial that in isn't entirely representative in terms of, of temperature? Yeah, it's going to be difficult, um, but you know it, it is what it is. Same for everyone. We need to, you know, give it our best shot now. Come up with the with the best compromise setup for for one lap and for the race, and then we'll see what we get on Sunday. And again, take it from there. Then. Well, Lance, let me start by saying I think you're a hero for getting in the car. But how are you feeling? Thanks. Yeah, I'm feeling all right. Um, you know, a little stiff, but uh, it was overall okay in the car today. We saw the onboards with you pushing the car, the steering wheel through turn one. Do you have any doubts in your mind that there's a race distance in you? No, no, I just uh, was protecting it, you know, it feels a little more comfortable. Um, so, I, you know, I feel like uh, I, can, I, can definitely, I can definitely drive, no problem. Looking at the timesheets, incredible, the jump that Aston Martin have made or appear to have made. How proud are you just of that journey that you've been on since 2019 to arrive at this point? Incredible. It's looking amazing. So, uh, and it's feeling great in the car too. So, really uh, top job from everyone and are you daring to dream of a an all green front road tomorrow yeah that would be awesome we'll try <laughs>